The modding community never ceases to amaze, and the latest release for Fallout 4, aptly named Fallout London, is a statement to their dedication and creativity. This massive overhaul mod is as extensive as an official DLC, offering a fresh new map that spans the breadth of London, filled with new factions, weapons, and an entirely new storyline. For those who have explored every nook and cranny of the vanilla Commonwealth and Far Harbor, this mod promises an exhilarating new adventure. However, there's a slight catch. Fallout London is released exclusively on GOG, which complicates the process for those wanting to experience it on a Steam Deck. But fear not! With a bit of patience and some additional steps, you can enjoy this epic mod on your portable powerhouse. Ready to rock this new quest? If you're as excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. Let's get into the details. Preparing for installation. Before diving into the installation process, ensure you have everything you need. First and foremost, you'll need the Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition on either Steam or GOG. But since we are focusing on the Steam Deck, it's best to use the Steam version for this guide. This edition includes the base game along with all the DLCs. If you haven't yet secured a copy, check out Fanatical for potential deals. Sometimes, they offer the Game of the Year Edition at a discounted price, which can be quite a steal. Next up, you will need the Heroic Launcher, which you can easily find in the Discover Store on your Steam Deck. This tool will allow you to download the mod from GOG. Additionally, ensure you have around 200 GB of free space available. This is a temporary requirement to accommodate the download and installation process. You'll also need the Fallout London Downgrader tool, available from Nexus Mods, which ensures that the mod runs smoothly by downgrading Fallout 4 to a compatible version. Finally, you'll be working in desktop mode for the installation, though you can switch back to game mode once everything is set up. Downloading and installing Fallout 4 and the mod. First things first, let's get Fallout 4 on your Steam Deck. If you already have it installed, you're a step ahead. If not, download it from Steam, ensuring it's the Game of the Year edition or that you have all necessary DLCs. This step is straightforward. Simply navigate to your Steam library and start the download. Next, let's get the Heroic Launcher from the Discover Store. This tool will help us download Fallout London from GOG. Once Heroic Launcher is installed, open it and log into your GOG account. If you don't have a GOG account, you'll need to create one. It's free and simple to set up. Once logged in, head to the GOG store within Heroic Launcher. Currently, Fallout London is prominently featured on the main page, but if it isn't, use the search bar to locate it. Since the MOD is free, you can purchase it without needing to enter any payment information. After acquiring the mod, go to the Library tab in Heroic Launcher and find Fallout London. If it doesn't appear immediately, refresh the library and it should show up. Once visible, proceed to install it. For this guide, we used Wine GE 826 as the Proton layer to ensure compatibility. Downgrading Fallout 4 To ensure Fallout London runs smoothly, we need to downgrade Fallout 4 to a compatible version. The Downgrader tool simplifies this process significantly. Start by downloading the Fallout London Downgrader tool from Nexus Mods. You'll need a Nexus account to access the download, but registration is free. Once downloaded, extract the contents of the zip file to your desktop. Launch the tool and you will be prompted to log into your Steam account. This step is necessary because the tool needs to access your Steam library to find and modify the Fallout 4 installation. If you use Steam's Authenticator, be prepared to verify your login. The Downgrader tool will attempt to locate your Fallout 4 installation automatically. However, if it doesn't succeed, manually navigate to the installation directory, which is usually found at home, deck, dot, steam, steam, steam apps, common, Fallout 4. Once the tool locates the game, click the Downgrade Fallout 4 button. This process might take some time, depending on your internet speed, so ensure your Steam Deck doesn't go to sleep during the operation. Installing Fallout London Mod 
With Fallout 4 ready, it's time to install the Fallout London mod. This part involves a few tricks to ensure everything is correctly set up. First, locate the mod's installer. Go to the folder where Fallout London is installed via Heroic Launcher. It's typically found at Home, Deck, Games, Heroic, Fallout London. Right-click on the installer.exe file and select Add to Steam. This step is crucial because it allows the installer to access the correct folders within your Steam library. After adding it to Steam, find the new shortcut in your Steam library, go to its properties, and set the compatibility to Proton 9.02. Now, launch the installer from Steam. You'll be prompted to navigate to Fallout 4's install directory. Using the touchscreen is advisable here, as the trackpad may not respond well. The path you need to follow is Home, Deck, Dot Steam, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. Once you've located the folder, proceed with the installation. After the installation completes, close the installer entirely instead of hitting the play button. Transferring configuration files. To complete the setup, we need to move some configuration files from the mod's installation directory to Fallout 4's directories. First, move the INI files from Home, Deck, Games, Heroic, Fallout, London, Config 2, Home, Deck, Dot, Local, Share, Steam, Steam Apps, Compat Data, 37716, PFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, My Documents, My Games, Fallout 4. This step ensures that the game configurations align with the mod's requirements. Next, transfer the app data files from Home, Deck, Games, Heroic, Fallout London, App Data to Home, Deck, Dot Local, Share, Steam, Steam Apps, Compat Data, 377160PFX, Drive C, Users, App Data, Local, Fallout 4. Again, allow any new files to overwrite the existing ones if prompted. An additional step, which might not be necessary but is worth doing, is to move the Fallout4.ini file from the underscour config folder to the main Fallout4 installation directory at home. Deck. Dot Steam. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Fallout4. This action ensures that all configurations are correctly set up for the mod. Disabling cloud saves. To avoid any potential conflicts with cloud saves, it's advisable to disable them for Fallout 4. This ensures that your save files for Fallout, London don't interfere with your original game saves. You can disable cloud saves via the general preferences for Fallout 4 in your Steam library. Launch and play. With everything in place, you're ready to launch Fallout 4 and dive into the Fallout London mod. Remember, this is a total conversion mod so starting a new game is mandatory. Your original Fallout 4 saves and story won't be accessible until you uninstall the mod. Simply press play for Fallout 4 from your Steam library and the mod will boot up. You will be greeted with an entirely new world set in the post-apocalyptic ruins of London. From here, you can begin a new journey, exploring the unique factions, engaging in new quests, and discovering the myriad of surprises that Fallout London has to offer. Conclusion By following these steps, you can seamlessly integrate Fallout London into your Steam Deck, transforming your portable device into a gateway to a post-apocalyptic London. The process might require some patience and technical know-how, but the reward is a brand new adventure in a beloved game world. So gear up, go in, and enjoy the thrill of exploring a new wasteland. We provide a plethora of game reviews, news, and guides tailored to enhance your gaming experience. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks, and happy gaming! Don't forget to subscribe for more great content and updates.